Good morning everyone. Just wanted to share with you another addition to the collection. Picked up this 1991 Honda CRX SI. Uh, I bought it off one of my closest friends. He's had the car, I don't know, maybe four years now. And pretty much every modification that's been done to this car I have had a, had a hand in. It's a uh, it's pretty much a, a stock car. We did a swap, a little bit of suspension work, but other than that, uh, it's a clean uh, little CRX. Let me show you some of the features of it. He has some SSR replica wheels. These are a 15 by six and a half. There's a uh, some 195.50 Kumo Extra AST tires on them with really good tread. He hasn't really driven the car a whole lot. It has the, the Stanley side markers on it. Of course it has the rear disc brakes. The 1991 CRX SI models came with them. But he has the cross drilled and slotted rotors installed. It has some EDM tail lights, which are like the 88, 89 style. I'm not a big fan of. He did give me the originals. I'll probably swap those out. It has a Tenrai Cadback exhaust. I may prefer to change that up, but it sounds really nice. Clean sound. Still has the 9091 uh, centerpiece though, so it looks a little weird with the tail lights being that way. He has the JDM SIR wing that was installed on it. I like that. It's, uh, it looks real sleek. Like the side profile of the car, how it comes off. Um, the antenna, I'm sorry. The wiper was shaved. Same with the wiper squirter on top. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I do like the way it looks though. It came out really nice. And it just uh, cleans up uh, the back of the car. It reminds me of an HF model. And the interior, very, very clean interior. With the exception of a couple of these on each side, this is from when the seat belt would catch over the years. Everything's original in here. The seats, however, he had them reupholstered, and it's nice. He had them keep the center portion of it, but they completely redid the headrests and both the side bolsters on the seats. And I like the, 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 the design, it's kind of similar. It's still smooth though, but it's similar to an OEM looking seat. And they both look very, very sharp. It does have the, of course the cargo box and the cargo uh, cover and the center divider. Also the climate control is cracked, unfortunately. Let's see if we can get that replaced. I'm always a fan when the sun wor sunroof works with no hitches. It's always very helpful and nice. It has a B18A1 swap. This is the second one that I had helped him swap into this car. I sold him a used set of TN Super Street uh, full coils. These have the adjustability so you can adjust the dampening. A uh, really nice ride. They're in 8K and 4K rear for the spring rates, which equal to like 448 pounds and uh, 228, I believe. So it's a nice ride. Firm, but not punishing at all. Optima battery he threw in, uh, some sort of a generic intake, and a Skunk 2 radiator that I helped him install. Still has the OEM lip, OEM corners. Needs to really be detailed. And that's what I'm going to work on hopefully within the next week or two. Maybe remove the mud flaps, give it some uh, little personal touches, probably even throw on a different set of wheels. Thanks for taking a look at my, my, my newest purchase to the collection of the EFs. Let me know what you guys think of it.